Since my last video about the Giga Press, actually a lot of friends or, and visitors of, of my channel raised the question about reparation cost. So that's a very good question. Very intuitive, right? Everything is single piece. How are we going to repair that one? So let's uh, deep dive into this topic. Talk about a solution and also cost. First, a few general comments. So the damage for the rear antibody is mainly caused by the rear end collision, REC. The safety is the paramount. The cost actually is the secondary. So that's we have to bear that one in the mind. Uh, Tesla's five-star safety rating uh, by NHTSA and feature and safety features have to avoid or reduce injuries to passengers. So the drivers of vehicle in the back generally responsible for the REC, not the Tesla driver. But easy fix or quick fix still meaningful to Tesla driver because it minimizes the loss of, loss of access to the vehicles. So we'll discuss whether the die casting increases the cost of reparation or not in the following pages. And first, let's look into how big is the rear end collision risk. I did some research on the internet i uh, provide link here and I will summarize all the links and in the video description. So if you want to follow up, you know, it's easier for you. Basically, it's saying that 29% of the car crash on road, US road, is uh, REC, the rear end collision. To put in a number, that's 1.7 million a year. On the other side, there are 227.5 million license holder, drive license holders in US in 2018. And that number should be roughly the same over uh, years. So a simple math show that the chance of getting a REC as a front car is about 0.75%. So say in 10 years, that chance go up to 7.5%. But be aware for, for active driver, for example, driving daily for work, for job, the chance of REC in 10 years will be much, much higher than actually 10%. Let's look at this issue from another angle. The car insurance company say for a US average driver, every 17.9 or say 18 years, they file one collision claim. And US life expectation is 29 years. And the first year, the first year they got the License is about 25 and 26. So a simple math, 79 minus 26, first year you get the driver license and divided by the claim interval, eight, roughly 18, you got three. So for average US driver, you have a roughly 53 years of driving uh, record and then you file three, you have three instant accidents. So recall that the REC is about 29% of all incidents or accidents. So you got roughly for one US driver, the chance you got, the, the number you got the REC is 0.87. So you are very likely to get a REC event in your life. And this show that the REC risk actually is a substantial. It cannot be ignored. You need to pay attention to this one. And now the safety and also the linked cost issue. Regarding the reparation solution for single piece casting, Elon mentioned it multiple times in his Twitters. In last year, August, he mentioned that the single piece casting will include the, cr the crushing reels. And later in August, he mentioned that explicitly, say the crushing absorption reels can be cut off and, repair, re and replaced with a bolted part um, for collision repair. So let's have a closer look about the casted rear antibody so we can understand what Elon meant in his uh, solution. Here are two images. The left one is a bottom view of the casted rear antibody. By saying bottom view means as if you are looking from the bottom of the vehicle and looking up. The other side is a top view. And the, the bottom view, actually this image, in this image, the casted rear antibody just out of the casting machine. So they have some redundant part. You can see here the small part, actually a big redundant part is here. This is the casting point or 
the point they inject liquid metal into. And this redundant part will be removed a few seconds after this image is taken. On the other side, you see this part is, is, is gone, and uh, this one, this part, small part has been cleaned out. So this this uh, open area here actually is where it uh, is is the back seat position, and this two arms here, and on the other side here, are the crushing absorption rails mentioned by Elon multiple times. To better understand this one, we can see another picture. This is a image from uh, Tesla battery day last year. You see this is the back seat position and this is the open area of the rear uh, antibody. And this is the two um, uh, rails. And here's the front seat. It's not relevant in this topic. Let's see some more image to get a feeling about the, the rear antibody. Again, I put the same uh, top view from on the right side, and here's uh, how the car looked like with rear antibody on the assembly line in Shanghai. And here's a closer look. You can see the groove here, here. That's the arm or rails. From this picture, you can see that the bumper is still a standalone piece. It will be connected to here, provide a protection. Actually, this is a, a finished car, uh, Model Y. This is from Weibo by a, a publisher called Anko Xiaote. This image is from Sandy Monroe's teardown video. I provide the link in the bottom, so welcome to take a look. It's a great video, worth the attention. So this image show uh, the early build uh, in Fremont. So they have more than one piece. They have left and right cast pieces and some joints. And this is the joint. Uh, they bolted uh, two pieces together. And actually this one gives you a clue how the future reparation of the bolt arm will look like. And my friend volunteered to explain this one in a little bit detail. So I'll hand it over to him. There are some um, manufacturing um, improvements for the Y. Um, we're, the rear underbody, uh, we're moving to an aluminum casting instead of uh, a series of stamped uh, 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 steel and aluminum pieces, um, but it, it drops from initially. Initially, it will be two castings, uh, and I'll go from seventy parts to two, and then seventy parts. Actually, seventy parts to two plus joiners, so wow. four. <laughs> um, and then it'll go when we get the the big casting machine. It'll go from seventy parts to one. Wow! Uh, with a reduction in weight and uh, an improvement in MBH. And, and a reduction in cost and a significant drop in the capital expenditure required for the older robots that would otherwise be necessary to put those 70 bots together. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the explanation by my friend in the previous slides. And here we talk about the cutting aluminum. There are plenty of it, um, many videos on YouTube. You can search it. I provide one as an example. It's not difficult. You can see the small tool. I know the Casted body is a slight, slightly thicker than this uh, this piece of metal on the uh, in the image, and they we talk about a special uh, alloy, but it will not change the big picture. Overall, the cutting is not that difficult. So let's talk about the the cost comparison. So there are two cases, one is a single piece casting, another one is a old fashioned, seventy parts integrated together. And there are three scenarios. The first one is the easiest one at the bumper level. So the solution is to replace the bumper but in either way. So the same. If the impact is higher to reach the rails level, so in the single piece case, they will need to cut off the damaged rail and bolt on a new one. We just had a bit of discussion about how to cut and how to bolt on. So you can draw your own conclusion 
the difficulty or the cost for this job. On the other side, in the integrated case, so there might be more than one parts in, for the rails. So they have to disassemble the broken parts, deformed parts, and reassemble the good parts. And they might have to do some seating work as well. So in these two cases, I think I tend to believe that this one, this the fix, the uh, single piece casting case, actually is easier, a little bit easier to fix. And the third scenario is that the force is big enough to reach the main rear body part, this part. And this part is not easy to deform, but of course, if the force is big enough, they will deform, they will surrender. So in the single piece, uh, single piece casting case, they will have to remove the whole thing, that's for sure. On the other side, there might be some chance, you can evaluate the chance that out of 70 parts, some of them are not or less impacted. You can salvage them and reuse them. And you have to replace all the other parts, deformed parts. So maybe out of a 50 out of a 70 will be removed and you have to put them back on. So considering the labor cost, and that this one is not easy job neither. So one another point about the uh, the parts, the replacing rail uh, is a die casting part too. So the cost of this part is pretty much the main, uh, the price of the metal. The other ones is a few minutes. We know the casting job only take a few minutes, or or a couple of minutes actually, only take a few minutes of the. Uh, OPEX and the depreciation, depreciation of the equipment. So this one is a very small, pretty much uh, it's the cost of the metal. So I don't know how much Tesla will charge for, but the material cost actually is very low in the casting case. I tried to find some REC event uh, for the Model Y. So this is the only one I got, uh, I found from the internet. The source is provided here. So we noticed that the Model Y's back door actually is more vulnerable in collision compared to the rear end of the body. It might due to uh, its light structure and also glass. Here is the summary of this presentation. Rear end collision is a significant risk for driving. We cannot ignore this and we have to deal with that. Cutoff and bolt on is the reparation solution for single piece casting, rear and the body. The bumper is separated from the rear and the body, and it is the level one protection. The crushing rails as level two protection are still rel relatively easy to repair in the single piece casting case. In the most severe condition, either with or without single piece casting, the the reparation cost will be high. Which one is higher is still an open question. Depending on a lot of details, we don't know exactly. One of the questions will be how easy to remove the rear and the body. Is that as easy as the Lego car mentioned multiple times by Elon? We don't know yet. But I, will leave, I, will, I hope the contents here provided in this presentation will help you to make up your mind or your call on this. Uh, one thing, one last thing is that you know the other party in the REC should be responsible for the financial loss. Thank you for watching, and really appreciate your attention. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the commentary area, so we can have further discussion on this topic. Thanks.